Hello, thank you for tuning in to SG336, St. John 336, I'm Stephanie Jeanette, and we are on day 360, 360 of my book, A Daily Devotional, which I'm presenting to you via YouTube. We are on Psalm 119, and this is Tau, T-A-U, the last letter. This will cover verses 168 to 1, I mean 169 to 176. Suggested praise. Well, hold on. Let me get the St. John right quick. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Suggested scriptural references for today's study, Psalm 119, verses 169 to 176, verse, and verse 133. Jeremiah 3, verse 21, 2 Samuel 2, I'm sorry, 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 1 to 3, and Romans 7, verses 15 to 17. Let's start with Romans. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consider unto the law that it is good. Now and then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. And Jeremiah 3.21. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Lord, may the man never forget you, Lord. Ooh, child. Ooh. Lord. No, you know, God can do with us whatever he so wills. I mean, he likes if we stand in agreement with his will, his perfect will in our lives, for our lives and the lives of our loved ones. But at the end of the day, you know, as they say, at the end of the day, God Almighty can do whatever he wants. And, uh, I uh, wouldn't want to experience not knowing God. Have mercy, Lord. Help those who um, either maybe through birth or some kind of congenital, supposedly congenital thing, that's thing this, that, or the other thing, or messing with drugs too long you know which could be one time for some people you know just have mercy God if you can heal the minds of those who have compromised mental skills and compromised emotional skills in Jesus name All right, so suggested praise song, Thy Word. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right not the singers or the performers. YouTube uploaders date is January 2nd, 2010. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I know you know it. And for the entry. As I read this last section of this longest song of the Book of Psalms, I begin to wonder whether this construct, which I call formulaic and mathematical, was used to assist in the memorization of it. This section proceeds with the following concepts presented by the author, crying unto God Almighty for his understanding, 
supplication for deliverance by the Lord our God, lips that praise him, as has been taught by his statutes, dedication to public profession, beseeching help for his faithfulness. The next verse, 174, indicates that the author has yet to feel saved, delivered. And in the very next verse, we're left wondering why the writer seems to imply that his soul is dying. Then finally, in verse 176, we're allowed to witness that he's gone astray. A fine time to slip that in. And throughout the whole Psalm 119, there's not been even a few times when he's hinted at an admission to his own transgression. Of the 24 times that the word precepts appears in the KJV, all but three of those times are in Psalm 119, yet in none of them does the author confess. Of course, given the length of this song, it could be that it was written over an extensive, extensive period of time. Also, it could be that it was composed by different earth contributors. Still, for this confession to appear at the very end, after all of its presentation of sticking to the precepts, words, and way of the Lord our God, almost presents as a joking punchline. Likewise, it could simply be intended to communicate our helplessness to walk in God Almighty's law without his active direction and intervention. And for the intercessory prayer, dear Father God Almighty, who takes us up when our father and mother forsake us, we thank you for your dear and only begotten Son and his completed work shed blood on the cross at Calvary in Christ Jesus of Nazareth. We lift up fathers and grandfathers today, dear Lord. Please deliver them from trusting in men, especially those of cultic, ritual, masonry, and similar ilk. And Lord God Almighty, please bless your people with the will and wisdom to say yes to God Almighty's will and to follow through on what you have requested of us. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Have an excellent day, guys.